A few weeks back, I made a video on a project called Proton Up, which is basically a CLI tool for managing, installing, and removing different versions of Proton GE, which is a fork of the Steam Proton project. And I still think that is an amazing CLI tool, and I still recommend that people use it. But today, I found something better. That being Proton Up QT. Now, the name does it a serious, serious injustice because it's not just a GUI interface for Proton Up. It does do that, but it does so much more as well. And this is the way that I've been managing my different versions of Proton GE since I found it. Now, when you first open this up, you're going to be presented with a list of Proton GE versions you have installed. But you might notice this drop down on top as well. This contains Lutris. This is why I said the name doesn't make any sense. Because we're not just managing versions of Proton GE, we're also managing versions of Wine GE and different wine forks you might want to use with Lutris as well. One really neat thing you might have noticed on the Steam side is one of the versions in here is marked as unused. So it actually checks with Steam for what versions of Proton G are currently in use, and if they're not in use, it'll actually tell you in the application. So if you want to get rid of that version or whatever you want to do with it, you can go and safely do that without, you know, breaking any of the configuration for any of the games you currently have installed. On that note, to remove it, all we do is click on the version, go down to remove selected, and then it'll go and just automatically do that. Now, one thing I would really like is the option to have a confirmation prompt, because even with versions that we're currently using, it won't actually confirm it. What I've noticed with Steam is if it can't find the version of the compatibility tool you're using, it's going to go and default back to whatever your global config says to do. So I think mine defaults back to Proton Experimental or something like that, but whatever you have it set up to, that's what it's going to go to. Having a confirmation prompt there would be really useful though, because you might have like 20 games all using the exact same version, and losing that configuration might be really, really annoying. Now, removing a version is one thing, but adding a new version is honestly just as easy. All we do is go down to Add Version, go down to the Version drop-down list, select the version that we want. Obviously, you can go and like type and jump to a version you want to jump to, but I'm going to go with the latest version. And if I'm unsure about what this version actually does, clicking on the Info button is actually going to open up the release page over on GitHub. Now, one thing I've noticed is when you open this up, Sometimes the application is weirdly going to lock up. It's not every time. Yeah, okay, right now it's completely locked up. There's nothing I can do there. And let's go and close this now. At this point, I have to just basically wait. I'm not really sure why this is happening. I assume it's because it's not actually forking the process properly. But when you close that and you've clicked on install, it will actually go and start. That's only a minor, minor problem though. If you want to go and check out what each of the patches actually do, it's very easy to go to the GitHub directly and then check it from there. So I don't really consider that that big of a deal. Once that install finishes, it's going to go and extract that version of Proton GE into the correct location, and it should be good to use now. Over on the Steam client, let's go into our properties, go down to compatibility, and there we go. If the new version you just installed is not inside your list, just go and restart your Steam client, and then the list will be reloaded. One thing you may have noticed is when we went to add a new version, it didn't just have Proton GE as an option. Proton GE is actually inside of a dropdown. So it supports Proton GE, which is the Proton Glorious Egg Roll fork, but it also supports Boxtron, which is basically for running games inside of a native DOS box. We have Lux Torpedo, I guess is how you'd say that, which is for running games in native engines. A lot of games, like I think Morrowind, for example, there is an open source engine. You can just run the game and it runs better than the proprietary engine it had. And then Roberta, which is for running games in a native Scum VM. I haven't really looked at the compatibility tool space outside of Proton GE, so I don't know if other tools do exist, but if other tools do exist, it wouldn't be very difficult to integrate them into this system if they use GitHub to distribute all of their new versions, because GitHub has a fairly standardized way of doing release pages. If they don't use GitHub though, 
you could probably easily add those in as long as they have a pretty sensible way of releasing their updates. Now, speaking of different compatibility tools available, it all works exactly the same way over on the Lutra side as well, but obviously different tools are going to be available. So we have Wine GE, which is basically wine, but with the glorious egg roll patches like Proton has with the glorious egg roll patches making it Proton GE. There is also the Cron... I Chronic, I guess is how you're supposed to say them. I'm not sure. I don't put a four in your name. Uh, Wine Builds Vanilla, which is designed to work around the new Futex 2 patches and the Wine TKG kernel. And then Lutris Wine, which is basically a build of wine designed around running it in Lutris. If you want to know more about all of the individual compatibility tools, I will leave a link to their website, their GitHub, GitLab, whatever they use to distribute their versions in the description down below, and you can go and have a read about them for yourself. Now, when I'm doing something in Lutris, what I do, what, 99% of the time is I will go to the Lutris website and I will look up, hey, here is the thing that I want to run. Let's say, for example, Final Fantasy XIV. There will be some versions on here. On here we have the official version and then a third party launcher. I will click on install and it will set all of it up for me. I don't need to go and manage that myself. But sometimes the version of Wine being used by it is a little bit out of date and maybe I want to go and try out a newer version. So I could go and add a new version down here and let's say I want to add uh let's say 6.20-g-1. I could go and install that and then over on the Lutris client, actually change it out. Now, unlike Steam, it doesn't seem like Lutris is a way to report what compatibility tools are currently in use. As we can see with the latest version we just installed, nothing's actually using it, but it's not actually marked as unused. I don't know if the application is just not hooking into something that does exist or if, as I said, it just doesn't exist altogether. Anyway, if we want to go over and use that one, all we do is go configure the application we want to configure, go to the runner options, select the new version, and then we're good to go. And that's pretty much it for what it can do. If we have a look at the about section here, it does have the option of having a light, dark, or the system theme, but that's 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 literally everything it can do. There's, there's nothing else here. I still think that ProtonUp is a really, really good application. And if you're just playing games in Steam, it's fine. But if you also do stuff outside of Steam with Lutris, I think you should probably give this one a shot. Now, there are some little niceties I would like to see added. So these paths right here are generated by the application and the user has no way of modifying them. Now, that's fine because... Lutris and Steam are always going to be in the same location, at least if you're not using the flat pack. So I actually have the flat pack version of Lutris installed just for some testing for something else, and it's not actually listed here. There's no way to add it, so there's no way to really use this with that version. I haven't tested it with the flat pack version of Steam, but there's no reference on the GitHub to say that it's going to work. It would also be nice to have a method to actually filter down this list so you're not seeing the entirety of it so let's say have like a search bar or something and if i search for like six dot for example it only shows the uh the six dot versions rather than the entire list because this list certainly is not getting any shorter also please 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 change your name because maybe this started as basically a gui interface for proton up but this has evolved into so much more than that and just saying this is called proton up qt doesn't really do it any justice if you know about the CLI application already. This does so much more, and I want to see people actually using it. Because installing Proton GE isn't difficult, but it's the exact same process every single time. So if you're not going to just go and script out all of that work, just go and download one of the tools that's going to do it for you, and save yourself a couple of minutes.